Aaron, just how would you describe overall what you saw from your guys in, in the games? God bless you. These two days and uh, the overall experience here in London. Um, the experience was was great. Um, talked about a lot. I think our guys relished it. Um, I thought they were really excited to get here. I thought they really embraced the whole thing. It, it felt big. It felt important. And you know, to to get out of here with with two wins, um, some crazy games, obviously with a lot of offense. Uh, we're we're really excited about that. Obviously, we'll go back to Ryan. Aaron, when you guys were down 4-2 in the sixth, you decided to go without a Vino there. Obviously, it proved fruitful. But what went into the thinking there? Because we know sometimes down in that spot, you won't necessarily go to a high leverage guy like him. Yeah, um, just felt like we, you know, you know, start with an off day tomorrow. Um, so, you, so you're going to kind of empty it. Felt like we were back in the game. You know, no, we hadn't scored a ton at that point, but but knew we we worked their starter over enough to get him out. Um, it was it was a good lane for Otto. We liked him there, um, and just felt like we had a chance right there to kind of you know eventually with our offense. We feel like obviously we have a really good chance eventually to to break through, and um, felt like that was the right spot for Otto. You know, in, in looking even ahead an inning or two. Um, and and he came in and, and did his job, and obviously the offense exploded the next inning. Alex Kors was just trashing his team and said you guys are way better than they are right now. I know there's a long way to go, but to be 11 games up on them, uh, they're defending champs. How surprising is that? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I guess I'm a little excited about the fact that we have created a little bit of separation with a team that I know is really capable over there. And, you know, at some point they're probably going to go on a run and certainly capable of that. So um, I just look at it as there's a long way to go. I know they're a great team. Even these two games where we win, it's just, it's just heavy. I'm, you know, I didn't play. I'm exhausted, you know, just because – they keep coming at you. Um, so, you know, we've had some success against them, obviously, to this point, but but I just temper it, you know, also with there is a long way to go. And, and any time you can create a little bit of distance with a team you know is capable of them, uh, that does get you a little excited, though. I don't, uh, beside the win, what's the most impact to you from this London series? Um, <clears throat> I just think the opportunity to showcase our game over here um, is is great, and and we should feel excited to to play a little bit of a role in hopefully spreading our sport. But to see the reaction um, that I thought this venue created and the energy in the in the building seemed like nonstop. You know, in almost a five-hour game yesterday and a four-whatever-hour game today, um, the energy never let up, and uh, and you could feel that. It felt like a huge event, um, these two games, and, and it was a lot of fun to be a part of that. Aaron, just a couple uh, rest or injury things. Um, with Sanchez and Judge, we just get them off their feet. And uh, Voight, pregame, how'd he come through everything there? Yeah, Luke did pretty well. So encouraged there. Um, he was an option for us. Um, so we'll kind of evaluate him on the on the way home. And, and through the off day, I, I would imagine he'd be a player for us as we open the next series. Um, <clears throat> with Sanchez, he kind of caught a ball funny in the, in the eighth there. Um, so I just, you know, it was affecting him a little bit catching. So I just thought it was best to probably get him out of there. He was fine hitting. Um, and then with Aaron just trying to be mindful, you know, coming back from that injury, building them up, you know, the trip over over here. Um, just want to make sure, you know, we're, we're smart with him and, and, and not pushing it too much. Hi, hi Aaron. Congrats on the two wins. Um, you know, obviously the Yankees have some really high-profile players like Judge and Sanchez, but it seemed like every time you looked up this weekend, um, LeMayhew and Hicks were either 
uh, on base or hitting RBIs. Can you just tell me how important those two guys are for your club? Yeah, I mean, you know, DJ, I mean, he's starting the all-star game for good reason. Um, he's been not a good, he's been a great player for us in every way. Um, offensively, the versatility he's provided defensively, um, just the behind the scenes he brings every day. Um, and then Aaron getting him back now and st start feel like he's starting to build some momentum, obviously after starting the season on the IL. Um, he's, he's such a he's such a tough out and he makes the pitcher work so hard which is i think something we've done really well especially now as we're whole um even today you know rodriguez had pretty good success against us but it was hard for him and, and, and he wasn't able to get deep in the game because up and down the lineup you know guys make you really work hard and and aaron hicks is is one of the you know he he always does that you, you gotta you gotta earn your way to get him out uh, with Sanchez, what's your concern level with the hand injury? Um, not too concerned, um, but we'll, you know, keep an eye on it through the off day. Um, it was more, I just thought it was best he got out of there. I think it's just kind of one of those things that happens every now and then to a catcher where you jam your thumb on a catch. This, this sport is such, you know, such a habit sport. They, they have routines. Your, your team's been out of the routine for like a week now. Mm -hmm. How do you get them back? to face the Mets and then go face the Rays. You know what, it's it's one of the things we try and talk about all the time. No matter the circumstances, no matter what we're going through as a club, whether we're playing great, whether we're scuffling, where we are, it, you know, if it's a big event, you know, there's an expectation that we bring a, a, a certain um, energy and focus and, and enjoyment of the game and, um, these guys do a great job of that. So uh, any kind of wrinkle you throw at them, uh, they've done a really good job of handling whatever whatever comes their way. And, and we work really hard to to try and keep things as routine and, and normal as possible when there is a, a little wrinkle in the schedule like, like here. Aaron Corr was in here uh, speaking very highly of you adding Carlos to your, your organizational staff. How much hands-on work? Beltron? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much hands-on work does he do with your hitters? Um, man, Carlos is such a great, he's been such a great addition to our organization. Um, we've been working hard to get him back in it over the last year and um, to get him to join um, finally this winter. And he's an impactful guy. He understands the game, knows the game. And um, so I, I think he's, he's started to touch every facet of our you know, organization, you know, minor leagues, he's, he's got invested in a little bit, um, you know, certainly having relationships with our players as well. Um, he's just been, he's been a really good addition for us. Thanks, Aaron.